the most direct way to do um, alkylation at an alpha carbon is to use LDA. We use LDA as a base. So uh, tell you, well, before we draw anything, let's talk about what LDA is. LDA is this thing. You have to make it. It's a very strong base. And the great thing about LDA is it, it's got these two isopropyl groups off this N minus. And those two isopropyl groups make it very hindered. So it's, it's also hindered. And that really minimizes the chance that we're going to do nucleophilic attack with our base. Our base will simply stand by and pluck off protons. So what protons do we want to remove? We want to remove an alpha proton. So we'll treat this with LDA. We know what will happen. We will form our enolate. Now, LDA is an extremely strong base. The conjugate acid of LDA is this amine, diisopropylamine, and has a pKa of about 35. I mean, it is not acidic at all. So once this thing deprotonates our ketone and forms our enolate here in the middle of the screen, we are going to have just the enolate. And so it's a really strong base, and it, it, the, the equilibrium highly, highly, highly favors the right-hand side. Once we have that enolate, we can treat it with an alkyl halide. Really, any alkyl, alkyl halide will do in this reaction, but it needs to be a primary halide. Enolates as SN2 nucleophiles are, um, they're good in an SN2, but they're a little bit basic. So we need to make sure our halide is unhindered. And that gets us to something like this. <clears throat> so what have we done in this reaction? We've introduced a new alkyl group, a primary alkyl group, at the alpha carbon. Now, um, LDA was developed uh, maybe the late 1950s and certainly became popular by the 1960s. But the fact is, people wanted to do this reaction that we show on the screen. They wanted to do this reaction well before 1950. So how did they do this? And, and here was really the challenge. They didn't have any good bases that could form an enolate, at least form an enolate to a high degree. So we can treat this with a base, and this strikes up some enol um, equilibrium. And the problem is their bases simply weren't strong enough to drive this reaction to the right and cleanly form in high concentration, these enolates. And so because of that, and because they didn't have LDA on hand, because they lived before the 1950s and 60s, they needed to figure out other clever solutions to allow them to form either an enolate or something like an enolate in, in a higher concentration. So in the other methods, we're going to look at all these with the perspective of these are all tricks to simply form an enolate or something equivalent to an enolate in high concentration when you don't have a really strong base available like LDA.